Hello there guys, Mark here. I hope you are well. I had a request from one of my viewers to demonstrate one of the classic paracord bracelets. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to tie the trilobite paracord bracelet. This one is also referred to as the ladder rack paracord bracelet. Here you can see two examples of the bracelet. One done in a single tone and a two-tone version. This is how it looks like when closed. It is a fairly white bracelet, but also fairly thin. It saves up quite a bit of cord. And this is how the two-tone version looks like. Both of these bracelets are done exactly the same way, we're just using one cord in the single tone version and two colors of cord in the two tone version. If we take a moment to take a look at the supplies, the first and most important supply is going to be paracord. A single tone version of the bracelet is going to require one long piece of paracord. A two-tone version is going to require two shorter pieces of paracord, which we join together. Usually I like to use the many method in order to join two pieces of paracord together. Alternatively, you can just melt the two ends together. In any case though, for a 6 inch weave you're going to need about 11 feet of paracord. So if you're doing a single color version, you're going to need one piece 11 feet long for a 6 inch weave. For a two tone version, you're going to need half that times two. So five and a half feet of one color and five and a half feet of another color. Since we're doing a buckle version of the bracelet, we're going to need a buckle. The buckle that I'm going to be using is five eighths of an inch in width. For demonstrating the tying process of this bracelet, I'm going to hook it in into a bracelet jig. A bracelet jig is not absolutely required, but it makes things easier to see. I'm going to take my buckle and I'm going to fixate it onto the jig. I'm going to adjust the length for my bracelet. And with this, our jig is ready for the tying of our bracelet. If you have one, a lacing needle comes in handy when finishing the bracelet. You're also going to need a pair of scissors or a knife to cut your cord with. Finally, a lighter is used to melt the ends of your paracord. With these supplies ready, let's begin. We're going to start off by setting up the core for our bracelet. Take your piece of paracord, fold it in half. Feed this bite so the middle point in your cord through the top end of the buckle just to hold it in place. Now move to the other part of the buckle and tie two cow hitches, one with each of the ends. Let's start with the right one. 
traveling through or buckland top down then over like this then bottom up through or buckland like this and finally through the loop and we tied one cow hatch now a second one with the other end top down through the buckle end like this pass over like this then bottom up through the buckle end like this and finally through this loop tighten up and we now have two cow hatches at the bottom move to the top remove this bite out like this take the right end pass through the buckle top down like this and under and through the bite as well like this so we now have two parallel strands pass over them like this then under and through this buckle end like this and finally through the loop here tighten up and you again have a cow hatch take the other end so the left one and again travel top down through the buckle end like this under and through the bite as well like this this again creates two parallel strands pass over them then under and through the buckle end like this and finally we're going to pass into this loop on the left side like this now you may have some slack remaining from the bite which i'm going to work out out through the bottom cow hitch into the top cow hitch and out the result two cow hatches at the bottom a four stranded core two cow hatches at the top
We can now begin our weaving. Take the left end, pass over one, under two, and over one, going through the middle strands. Like this. Take the right end and pass under one, over two, and under one. Like this. Tighten up and repeat the left end. Over one, under two, over one. The right end, under one, over two, under one. Like this. Tighten up. And again, the left end. Over one, under two, over one. The right end. Under one, over two, under one. Like this. Tighten up. Again, left end. Over one. Under two. Over one. The right end. Under one, over two, under one. Like this. Tighten up. Continue the same process, starting with the left, then the right, all the way to the bottom of the bracelet. At that point we're going to continue. So a few more rows, just for good measure. Left strand. Right strand. Like this, tighten up. Again, left strand. Right strand. Like this, tighten up. Continue all the way to the other buckle end. At some point, you're going to fill out the entire bracelet from buckle to buckle. Or, you're going to run out of cord in your ends. Both situations require you to start tightening up your weave. To do this, you pick out one of the two strands. I'm going to start with the left one. And I'm going to simply remove the slack out of the weave. This is going to get me more cord to work with. And it's going to make my bracelet look a lot more uniform.
the slack is going to run into one of your working hands. Then you do the exact same thing with the other end. So again, you begin removing slack. And the slack again ends up in your other working hand. Like this. I now filled out my bracelet and I can't add any more rows. If you take a close look, this last row is missing this left part. To fix this, I'm going to take my left hand and I'm going to feed it down here. So in between the first and second strand in the core. Here. And this completes my final row. Remove your bracelet off of a jig if you're using one. And now what we're going to do is flip our bracelet around. Like this. To continue, I'm going to take one of the ends. Attach a lacing needle. And simply tuck the end under these middle sections. It doesn't really matter how many tucks you do. The more tucks that you do though is going to increase the security of this end. Like this. Now, take the other end. And tuck it under as well. Like this. Trim the two ends. And you are done. Now in some cases, you may want to melt the two ends a little bit, but since this is on the underside, melting the two ends can bother your wrist a bit. So you can leave it like this. So this is the trilobite or ladder rack paracord bracelet. You can do it in a single tone, two tones, or even more if you get creative. Guys, I hope that I made this tutorial clear enough. Thank you very much for joining me today and see you next time.